Hey, hey, hey everyone, Armor Unit 01 here, back for some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling action over the internet. And I got nothing to announce or anything like that, so let's go ahead and pop into a game, and hopefully it's a good one. So, bam! And on the bottom we have Mega... Mega O-Wing, and on top we have King of Gods. Bottom player is playing Dark Worlds, it looks like, and our top is doing... Uh, meta? Anti-meta? Anti-meta? Hybrid? Which is which is perfectly fine. Um, maybe a beatdown anti-meta deck? So we have two Reckless Greeds activated, so that explains why so many cards are in the grave right at the moment. And, um, Upstart Goblin. And this could have been maybe two turns? So we have one card set for King of Gods, and he's going to end his turn. Let's go ahead and look at the life points. Mega with 4,200, and King of Gods with 9,000. Be uh, Beige, the vanguard of the Dark World, is going to be summoned onto the field, and that's going to return back to the hand in order to special summon Griffa, Dragon Lord of the Dark World. So uh, we have a 2,700 onto the field. Uh, but we do have two face down cards from King. <sighs> and he's going to go in the attack with Graffa. Or Graff. Graffa? Let's see if King has a response. Uh, let's go ahead and read the effect. When, uh, you can special summon this card from your graveyard by returning one face of Dark World monster you control from your hand, except Graffa the Dark Lord of the Dark World. If this card is discarded to the graveyard by the card effect, target one card in your opponent control, destroy it. That target uh, looks like it made contact, and 2,700 life points is going ahead to track. I'm going to go back to the read. Uh, if this card is discarded to the graveyard uh, by card fact, target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target. And if this card was discarded from your hand by your graveyard by your opponent's card effect, look at one random card in your opponent's hand and then it into one. And if it was a monster, you're supposed to summon it to your side of the field. So we have Cyber Dragon special summon onto the field because there's no cards. Uh, Dark Doom Caliber is also summoned onto the field. And he's going to go ahead and end his turn. So we have two monsters on the field right now, one 2100 and an end. Um, oh, well, no, okay, he didn't end the turn. He's going to enter battle. Cyber Dragon's going to go ahead and attack into Greffa. And let's see if King's got a backup card. We have Forbidden Lances activated, so that's going to go ahead and reduce 800 onto this monster. And that's going to go ahead and allow it to be destroyed. And we could have a direct attack with Doom Caliber Knight. And that's going to be a huge chunk of life points taken away. And now uh, Mega uh, is going to stand with 2,100 life points and King with 6,300 life points. So, let's see what... <laughs> he's going to summon uh, Beige back onto the field. Let's see if he's going to activate... Yep. And Griffa's back onto the field. Horn of Heaven is activated in response. That's an amazing uh, play right there. And not a lot of people still use Black Horn of Heaven. And Omega goes out and taps out. He can't summon anymore because he summoned Beige out on the field. And uh, there's really nothing else um, that he could do at the moment unless his uh, face down card but it's going to stall out for anything. But uh, Omega only has 2100 and this Cyber Dragon has exactly 2100, like, uh, 2100 attack points to finish Mega down. So uh, our winner is King of Gods, and I would say uh, the main main back row cards are definitely the key cards that definitely helped out here. Um, not too much action happening for Mega, unfortunately, with that Dark World deck. Um, if he had the land card, um, Gateway, I believe, Dark Gate, Dark Gate, um, I'll have to look it up. But uh, that's a very uh, good engine. Uh, ignition engine card for Dark World. And yeah, so oh. Good for King. And as always, don't forget your face down trap cards.